Life is unpredictable. We are never prepared for trauma. There have been several major social incidences that have happened during the last two years in Taiwan. Examples in case include Seng Ji's random homicide at the MRT stations in Taipei, Trans Asia's Airways aviation accident in Makung Pongyu. The aforementioned incidences have been one thing in common. People who are exposed to these kinds of incidents, the witnesses and the public at large, have a chance of developing post-traumatic stress disorder or a lesser form of this condition, acute stress disorder. The purpose of this film is twofold. First, to introduce the main characteristic PTSD and ASD. Second, to address services that occupational therapists can provide. Now, please test yourself and the people around you to see if there are any symptoms or signs listed below. Let's begin the test. Recurrent distressing dreams or nightmares. Frequent headaches. Spontaneous and intrusive distressing memories, flashbacks. Insomnia. Social withdrawal. Profound emotional sadness. Anxiety. Anger. Feelings of guilt. Fatigue. Pessimistic thinking. Emotional numbing. For example, thoughts or feelings about the event may be blocked so that you can't feel any emotions and an inability to remember an important aspect of the traumatic event. Concentration problems. Unable to maintain meaningful activities. If anyone who has undergone any traumatic events hasn't developed any of the above symptoms of PTSD, you've beaten stress. Congratulations. However, if anyone has developed even a few symptoms mentioned, you should be cautious that maybe you are suffering from stress-related disorders. For those that the disturbance has lasted less than one month, ASD may be diagnosed. If the duration of disturbance has continued for more than one month, you might be suffering from PTSD. At this time, you may need to seek professional help. The following describes the relationship between occupational therapy and PTSD. Occupational therapy enables people with physical, psychological, cognitive or impersonal problems to participate in meaningful activities in order to develop their maximum potential and functioning and to promote independence. Occupational activities include any personally meaningful activities such as daily activities, living, education, work, play, leisure activities, and social activities. Sensory processing, cognition, and emotion regulation abilities are often impaired with PTSD. These disabilities may negatively affect the person's ability to create and maintain meaningful relationships or withdraw from active participation in occupation or carrying out occupational roles. Occupational therapists conduct a comprehensive evaluation to identify strengths and deficits in functional performance and the causes. The occupational therapist then collaborates with clients to create aims, develop plans and to select meaningful occupations to meet recovery goals. Services can be provided either one-on-one -on -one or in group settings according to the client's needs. For example, in individual sessions, OT prompt clients to note daily activity configurations, inspect proportions of time that each activity occupies, and to learn new coping strategies. In group settings, occupational therapists may provide yoga to help clients learn how to relax and improve his or her sleeping. Occupational therapists are able to identify problems derived from PTSD and are able to address coping skill needs and strategies within the context of real-life scenarios. They encourage the clients to engage in personally meaningful activities to regain health and a sense of well-being.